Well, good morning, everyone from New York City. It's just about 9 a.m. on the East Coast. It's 6 a.m. out west. I'm Anne Marie Green in Studio 57, and here's a look at the stories grabbing our attention right now. Breaking overnight, the mayor of America's largest city facing an indictment. What we know about the allegations and the investigation into New York City Mayor Eric Adams and how he is responding. Hurricane Helene barrels towards Florida, expected to make landfall tonight as a Category 4 storm. We are tracking its movements. The presidential candidates debating from a distance with a focus on the economy. The proposals from Vice President Harris and Donald Trump just 40 days, 4-0 before Election Day. Plus another major streaming platform cracks down on password sharing. What you need to know about Disney Plus's new fees. Of course, we are going to begin in New York City, where Mayor Eric Adams has been indicted on federal criminal charges. The indictment is sealed, so we don't know the details of the charges yet. But when they are made public, he will become the first New York mayor to be criminally charged while in office. Nikki Batiste is at the U.S. District Courthouse in Lower Manhattan. Nikki, good morning. I'm Marie. MTS, thank you. Here's a look at what's on deck this morning. Later this morning, we are expected to hear from New York prosecutors following the indictment of the city mayor, Eric Adams. We're going to bring you those remarks live once they get underway. And uh, at 9.30, the task force on the attempted assassination of former President Donald Trump will hold a hearing on the security failure in Butler, Pennsylvania. Later today, President Biden and Vice President Harris will deliver remarks on gun violence in America. We're going to take you to the White House as soon as that begins. Welcome back to CBS News. Here's a quick look at some of the big stories that we're following for you this morning. A judge will hear arguments today on whether to overturn the criminal conviction of movie armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. You may recall Gutierrez-Reed was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter in the 2021 onset shooting of cinematographer Alina Hutchins. But her lawyers argue the case should be reconsidered because prosecutors failed to share evidence that might have been favorable. That was the movie set of Rust. About 45,000 East Coast dock workers could go on strike as early as next week amid stalled negotiations between their union and a shipping industry group. Workers are demanding increased wages. A work stoppage could uh, severely slow the flow of goods and raise shipping costs. Experts predict an East Coast strike could cost the U.S. economy as much as $5 billion a day. Southwest Airlines is planning to reduce services next year to and from Atlanta. The airline's management is under pressure after declining profits in the last three years. Carrier said in a memo that it could cut more than 300 jobs. The union that represents Southwest Flight Airline, or Flight Attendants rather, says that the airline is making employees pay a price for poor management decisions. Millions of people across the southeast have been warned to expect hurricane force or tropical storm force winds as Hurricane Helena, or Helene rather, barrels towards Florida's Gulf Coast. The hurricane is expected to make landfall near Tallahassee, Florida this evening, and its impact will be felt across the region, including in parts of Alabama, like Dothan, where a hurricane warning is in place, which is where Mark Powell is joining us now. He is the director of the Emergency Management Agency for Dothan, Houston County. Thanks for joining us right now. I know you are busy. So tell us, what is the situation like in Dothan, Alabama uh, right now? You know, we can see that it's raining in some areas of Florida. What do things look like where you're at? So Vlad and uh, the CBS News 24-7 team, they are tracking Hurricane Helene as it approaches the Gulf Coast. They'll have updates on the storm and the rest of the day's biggest stories next, so stay with us.